Hey everybody, it's Benny One, and I'm back at you with another Spider-Man movie review, everybody. Except for we were reviewing Venom today, everybody. We're doing Venom today, that's right. It's in the Spider-Man universe, everybody. I think it's going to take place in the Tom Holland Spider-Man universe with the MCU. I think they're going to connect them in this second one. I don't know, they haven't really officially said yet, but I think they're going to do it. They kind of have been hinting at it and talking about it. So we'll find out, everybody. We will find out. So all I have to review after this one is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Um, and I'm going to save the two Tom Holland Spider-Man movies for when I re-watch all the MCU movies and review all those. Because those are more MCU movies than they are Spider-Man movies. So I'm not going to review those with this batch of movies. So we're talking about Venom, though, everybody. The Tom Hardy-led film everybody so this movie actually gets eddie brock and venom correct from a comic book standpoint and what you would want venom to be in a live action movie this movie actually captures what venom is in the comic books i would say way more than what spider-man 3 did with topher grace like way 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 more holy cow Tom Hardy actually is believable as Eddie Brock. Like, he has the physique for it. He's just more believable as the character, as an investigative reporter. I like that he's an online investigative reporter. Like, he's kind of got, like, a YouTube thing going on with his news coverage and shit. I like that. I like that touch that they went with with that character in this movie. He was He actually didn't... They did mention that he did live in New York and work for one of the bigger newspapers there. Um, but he ends up in San Francisco. That's where this movie takes place. And I got to tell you, the, the motorcycle chase scene and everything through the streets of San Francisco, because, you know, they got lots of them roly roly hills going on. Awesome shit. Like, awesome. What a great setting for that motorcycle chase scene. Awesomeness. Like... This movie is loaded with lots of cool action. I, I do think that the best part about this movie is probably the relationship between Eddie and Venom. Because they do have this little bromance thing kind of going on between each other. And they actually show like Venom peeling off of him and like forming his face and talking to Eddie. Um... That's the best part of the movie is their relationship and the banter between them and everything like them going back and forth about not eating people's heads or not killing people, you know, to eat because that's how Venom and the symbiotes like to eat is they kill people and he does kill people. He bites their heads off. They don't literally show it, but you most definitely know that he bit somebody's head off. Um, yeah, the movie's fun. I mean, I will say that the plot there are plot holes and the movie is all sorts of different types of movies in one movie like you get you get your heroic shit in it you get your horror stuff you get your funny stuff it tries to be serious at times and usually when a movie does that i don't it kind of bothers me but this movie was like all in on this crazy bonkers concept of a guy that gets this symbiote and he gets infected with it and he goes cuckoo banana for a little while until he figures out what's really going on and then him and venom start working together and figuring their shit out but like i i just feel like they were all in on it like they they went full bore and accepted what kind of goofy fun movie this was gonna be so that kind of stuff it doesn't it didn't bother me so much in this movie the movie's fun it's just fun they did a way better job with the venom character like i said than they did in Spider-Man 3. Uh, I just, I thought the movie was fun. It's not a perfect movie, that's for sure. And I know some people hate this movie. Some people love it. It's very divisive. It's like some of the new Star Wars movies. The fans are very split down the middle. Um, and we got a cool little Easter egg scene at the end of the first credits that rolled. We are getting carnage, everybody. That's right. Car nidge everybody is going to be in the second venom movie how 
bad ass is that and woody harrelson is playing him <laughs> like i'm ready i'm ready everybody i'm ready for venom 2 carnage that's right yeah the movie's fun it's not perfect everyone um so i'm probably gonna give the movie uh uh, let's see i don't know i'll probably give it like a eight out of ten i find it entertaining i really do i thought it was a fun watch i hadn't watched it in a while uh, but when i rewatched it just a couple days ago i was like yeah that's a fun movie it's just a fun spider-man-esque venom movie like i i really loved what they did with the venom part of it like when he actually turned into venom he looked like venom except for the white spider logo um, I love what they did with it. So, an 8 out of 10, everybody, for Venom. We are Venom. That's right, everybody. Thanks for watching the review. I appreciate it. And I'll be catching you on tube later because I have spoken.